Lake York, it's the Beat at Five. Now, here's Joe. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Feed at Five, the show with the hashtag of the day and tweets you might have missed. I am your temporary host, Aaron Chernak, filling in for Jones. Jones cannot be with us today because he is currently in a cryosleep tube aboard an interstellar spacecraft traveling to planet LV-426 so that he can study an alien life form. The FCC announced yesterday that in a 3-2 to two vote, net neutrality will thankfully still be enforced. Internet providers will not be allowed to restrict bandwidth or charge additional fees to high traffic websites and services. Rest easy. You may continue to binge watch Netflix and porn. I mean, the feet of five. I, I totally said the feet at five. And speaking of surprise votes, marijuana was declared legal in Washington, D.C. yesterday. I tried to reach a public official there for a comment, but when I called, I heard the phone pick up, accidentally drop to the floor, and then ten minutes of giggling. Now, before you head to the Capitol and try and smoke a doobie sitting on giant Abe Lincoln's lap, take note that this law only applies to D.C. residents to own and grow very small amounts of marijuana in their own private homes. Now, I personally have no interest in partaking, but if you do, please, like alcohol, do it responsibly. Now, check this out. JDN Photography posted on Instagram this photo of slush waves in Nantucket. It is so ridiculously cold that the ocean, seawater, is actually starting to freeze up. And unfortunately, because of this, thousands of locals and travelers are being treated in hospitals for electrolyte imbalances. People saw the slushy ice rimmed with crusty salt and began gulping down what they thought was a massive publicity stunt for margaritas. And now it is time for the hashtag of the day, sponsored by Penn State York. Today it is hashtag make a song British. Of the day sponsored by Penn State York. All over social media right now is the story of surgeon Sergio Canavero, who claims that in two years he will be able to do full head transplants. Yes, that is cutting off a living human head and sticking it onto a different body. Now, doing this would actually be a cure for paralysis. I mean, that's the bigger story, in my opinion. Not getting someone else's bod. And that's why this claim just reeks of sensationalism. But you have to make bold claims to get ahead in the field of medicine. I mean, I hope it's true. I, I hope the guy really is using his noggin. Because if it turns out he's BSing, heads will roll. And speaking of disembodied heads, I want to turn your attention to a hilarious Twitter account run by comedy genius Ricky Gervais, creator of The Office, Extras, Life's Too Short, and An Idiot Abroad. The Twitter page is called Bath Picks, wherein you submit photos of your half-submerged head whilst in the bath. He loves to write and comment on these photos as well as submit his own. Here he is in one, here's a user in another one, and some other person in another one, but the one bath pick that is still retweeted to this day and has been commented on the most is this ugly mug. Forb tweets that earning more money is one of the best ways to improve your financial situation. In an unrelated story, Forbes also reports that tea is now just as popular as coffee among millennials and is actually continuing to grow we may soon find that there are more people in the U.S. who drink tea than coffee. Of course, if your first foray into trying coffee is Starbucks, it's no wonder that tea is preferred. They've never had a good cup of joe. Of course, I happen to prefer tea myself. <sighs> and finally, 20th Century Fox has announced that it will be moving forward with Alien 5. Except that it will be Alien 3. Writer-director Neil Blomkamp, who made District 9, Elysium, and Chappie, will be taking the helm and says that this film will be a direct sequel to James Cameron's 1986 Aliens, and will completely ignore Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. As far as I know, and please tweet me if I'm wrong, this is the first time in movie history that a sequel has backtracked and erased other sequels. There's hope for you yet, Star Wars and Highlander. You know, but frankly, I'm... What was that? Did you hear something? Ah! Oh no no! Ah! Banana! Banana! Stay for it! Stay for it! Banana! Ah!
That was not cool. Oh well. <laughs> I'm still so excited about the movie, I could burst. <laughs> Phoenix 5! I'm Aaron Chernak! Whoa, 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 whoa.